Here's today's Tackle and Gear. Hello, everybody. We're going to talk to you a little bit about the gear that we've been using on today's episode. Uh, we started out with the Cortland fly rods, and these are the endurance uh, these the endurance models. Nine foot six weights on mine that I was using, and the nine nine foot five weights in the one that Kevin was was using. We were alternating back and forth, of course, too. Um, the reels we're using today: Cortland CRX reels, and also the Cortland Cortland Precision XC reels as well. And the number two on that one. Uh, the fly line on this on this particular reel is the Cortland Camo 444, which uh, ended up doing some damage out here for yeah, sure we got, got some good fish. fish and uh this one here too i had some success on the floating line with an with a leech under it uh and that's the precision uh dynatip line by Cortland as well mm -hmm. um and that's again in a five weight um paired it all off with some with the climax leaders and tipped it off with of course the suffix uh fluorocarbon which again we we're we went up to eight pound because there's potential for some some monsters in here, so we didn't want to go light. And these fish aren't leader shy, as we showed today. We got all varieties of sizes on yep. the eight pound. Um, and then Kevin kind of, you know, talked to us a little bit about the flies that we should be looking for and using again. And again, the different micro leeches here. Uh, we have a, a maroon one, a yep. black one, and then this one here is a custom tie. That's uh, Caleb's killer leech pattern, and that did well for a few fish as well. So again, those three flies seem to be what was what was working. Yeah, today. no, it was. Uh, we, you know, we sort of went cold there for a little bit and I went back to the black uh, mini leech and yep. um, end up landing some nice fish so yeah. for sure any any of these leeches will work um, uh, and then at, obviously at different times of year we can get back to the uh, chronomids but maybe we'll do that sometime next year sounds good well I don't know about you but I think we should maybe get some more fish a couple more would be nice yeah but again these are the things that uh, you can use hopefully to help you produce some more fish as well and now, a recap of today's Tackle and Gear. 